Hi guys, my name is Ino and uh, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be going over the um, the comment tab or the comment feature within the uh, YouTube Studio app. So when when they did the upgrade, they added some a, a few features to it. So I'll just be covering briefly what what you can do with the with that comment with the comment features. So I already have my uh, the YouTube uh, Studio app open, and if you look at the bottom of the app, you'll see you have dashboard content analytics, and then you have the comment tab. So you just click on the comment tab, and then um, if you go at the top left here, you'll see that, like there's three lines. So if you click on those lines, you have filters. So what this this allows you to do is you can filter or you can search or look at your comments based on these filters. So you can you can look uh, based on the um, uh, the comment type if it's been published or if it's been held for review. And then you can also filter based on uh, the response. Say if you have uh, responded to the uh, the comments or not. So so you can select one of these two. And then here down here you also have an option to uh, search or look at comments based on um, the subscribers. So if it's uh, someone who's uh, who's showing their uh, their subscribers or not, so you can you can use that. Then the channel member status, like if somebody you can just it's a good way to look at your. Um, your channel and see who's a, who is a member. Like if you you already monetized, so you just select a channel member and it'll only show you the channel members, comments from the channel members. And then lastly here you have you can show based on the subscribe subscriber count like how many subscribers they have. So it doesn't matter whether they have their subscriber count hidden or not. If you select one of these, you should be able to see just those um, subscribers. On your comment section so all these features if you close up here you can find them at the top here so you have all these options here so i like this one this one better so all those options we just saw all those features they're here too so for instance we can by default you have one filter already applied see it says one that's for published. So here you can toggle between published or not published. Uh, published or held for review. So for instance, in my in my account, if I go to held for review, you'll see there's a few um, comments that were blocked that are not, normally are not showing by default. So this is based on the settings you have on your Google account anyways. So even one of my comments was held for review. I don't know, maybe it's because it says subscribe here. But what you can do here is, you, know, you can just say, you can allow it, you can click a check box here, you can delete it, you can flag it. And then another feature you have here, so you only have those two there, published on all the, the ones that are L for review. You can also filter based on, if you haven't responded, so if you select here, not responded, so all, all these are the ones I haven't responded to so far. So that's what it's showing me. Okay, that's a good way to see what you haven't responded to. And then another feature is the search. Here you can look for a specific uh, name, like if you have someone you're trying to figure out if they've actually watched and left a comment. So I can type, you can type their name here and search. And it will show you all the comments from that user. So you should be able to list. It's a good way to find out uh, comments from a specific uh, person. So we can and just to remove it, just click on that X and that and that should clear that, that filter. And then here, like I said, if you're just looking for channel members, you can click on uh, channel members and it will only show you comments from your channel members. Then you can clear that. And then if you're looking for how many subscribers, uh, based on their subscribers they have, but if they say I go to 10K, 
it's gonna list uh, all the people who subscribe to me that have over 10k subscribers. So that's pretty much it as far as uh, some of the features you have on here. Uh, so I mean, it's a good feature if you're looking for specific uh, comments. It's a good way to filter out the comments and uh, and search on 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 based on these fil filters that they have for us. So that's all for this video. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in, see you all in my next video.